Hey guys, welcome to Gideon Stuff. Today, uh, it, it's been a crazy day, um, but we have an unboxing. And this is a really exciting unboxing. Um, I just got back from doing some work at the museum. I've got a buddy coming over here in a little bit so we can work on some hydrology homework. Uh, calculating the transversitivity of a leaky aquifer, I believe. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But, this came in the mail. This is a box from TRW, old Tonto guy, aka Reggie. Um, he always sends good stuff. He, he sent a lot of stuff to the channel. He does good stuff. Um, so, unlike the last box we unboxed from him, I know exactly what's in here. You guys should be very excited because these knives are all donated to the channel, but they're not for me. They're for you. So, let's get into it. We're going to be unboxing this with the Vosteed Nightshade. I haven't showed this on the channel a whole lot, but this is an excellent knife. As you can see there, I have been using the heck out of it. Loving this knife. This is just, this is pretty awesome. So, let's go ahead and get into this. So these knives, Reggie has sent to be part of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And this is not the entry video for that. I will do an entry video later, but right now we're seeing 895 subscribers, so it's it's not going to be too long before we hit that milestone. Okay, so, awesome. Okay, where do we want to start? We'll start with this one here. So this one does not have a box with it. That's okay. Um, when I do the giveaway, I'll probably throw in a couple of goodies myself, but let's see what Reggie sent. So this is a Baron Sun knife. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was uh, gonna be. Interesting, I can't remember the number on this one, like the CBD, whatever, it doesn't have a name, it's just got the number, I'll, I'll leave it in the comments below. D2 steel, crossbar lock, wood. Okay, very shiny, very smooth. I have to get used to this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to play with this guy for a little bit. Ergonomics are actually really, really good for such a small knife. Uh, do they have the blade steel on here? Doesn't look like it, but it is D2. I really like that wood. Kind of interesting knife. Centering is off. I'll do some tinkering with it. See if I can break it in. But yeah, I can't remember the number on this one. But I remember seeing this knife on Knife Center um, a long time ago, and I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. So yeah, there we go. There's that one. And I'm not sure if you guys can hear the loudness outside my window. Let's go close my window. Alrighty, next up, let's got the window closed. Hopefully that's better. Let's check out the Condor. This is the, does it say it on here? Carlitos, neck knife. Let's see what we got here, a little bit of Condor propaganda, uh, knife care. And then they've got a little Condor booklet in there. So yeah, everything that would come with a knife, you got right there, pretty cool. Let's see what we've got here. Something fell out. Ah, blade cover. Alrighty, let's take a look at this thing. Got paracord for our lanyard, or not lanyard, our necklace, noose, whatever. And there's the knife. So yeah, little time. Ooh. That's actually really comfortable for such a small little fixed blade and that jimping is excellent. Okay, that is pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Kydex sheath. And yeah, snaps in there. Retention is, it's a little bit rattly, but it's solid. Comes out nice. All right, so yeah, the Carlitos. I say as I drop it right on the ground, good thing this is a fixed blade, not one of the folders. There we go. Alrighty. 
like that, like that. We're gonna be going through this pretty quick, like I said, guys. Next up, let's do the QSP. I've been wanting to review more QSP knives. It occurred to me the other day that I've only ever looked at like two QSP knives on the channel. So I'll probably do some reviews on these before we do the giveaways and stuff. And this is one that, this is one of the QSPs I've always wanted to check out. And I actually almost got one of these for my dad for his birthday uh, this year. And it's bigger than I thought it would. I mean, I knew it was a three and a half inch knife, but yeah, look at that. This is the QSP Copperhead. 14C28N, love that. Thumb studs. Yeah, that is a good looking knife, full size knife. Yeah, look at that. That is pretty cool, super comfortable. It's got good jimping up there. 14C, gotta love that. Ooh, internal, or well, external stop pins. Wow, this is a like solid feeling knife. I should have got one of these for my dad. I think he would really like this. It seems to just be like his style. The pivot color is weird. I'm not sure if that's a separate piece of G10 or if they just dyed that separately. Action is amazing, as you'd expect from QSP. Fantastic. Yeah, this is a... Whoever wins this is... Yeah, that's a heck of a knife. That is that is a heck of a workhorse. Access to the lock bar is great. Thumb studs are comfortable. Grr, I like it. All right, time for the last one. The grand prize. So Tucson, the 366, and what's interesting about this is when Reggie first reached out to me and said, hey, I'd like to send you some knives for your 1,000K, uh, 1,000 subscriber giveaway, I was like, yeah, man, that's awesome. And he sent me the list of the ones that he was thinking about sending, and I had just watched a review on this knife that day, and I was like, I, I, I want to check this out. And he's like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm sending you one of those. I was like, oh, that, that's awesome. I, things work out serendipitously sometimes, right? So this is a Tucson, and I already told you the number, so some of you probably already know what it is. But, oh, it's a Tonto. Come on, old Tonto guy, he had to send a Tonto. And 14C28N again, yes. I am so glad this is not in D2. 14C, that is gorgeous. Much improved my Carta from Tucson. You've got that Tucson build quality that we all know and love. Got the flipper tab, got the front flipper if I can even do it. <sighs> front flippers and me have not been getting along recently. <sighs> it's a little bit rounded. Flipper action works fantastically. Can I get to that hole? Yeah, you can. Feels great in hand. Very slim, but not like skinny, if that makes sense. Great action, as you would expect from a Tucson. Very cool Tonto compound grind. Well, actually, I mean, they're both flat grinds, but yeah, very nice. Don't want to touch a blade too much because fingerprints on this stuff. But yeah, they've got micro milling on the scales. I like that clip. That is really cool. Square clip, I bet it works pretty good. Let's test that out right now. Yeah, it goes in and out of the pocket pretty decently. Okay, let's get that front flipper. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Ah, oh, I keep almost getting it and then I'm like, maybe I just forgot how to work front flippers. Do I have any front flippers here? I've got a Tucson front flipper. Let's see if I've just forgotten how. Okay, I did that one first try. Although this knife is broken in. Crazy good. Oh, okay. All right, 400th time is the charm, right? I will get it, I will get it. 
But yeah, so all those knives are going to be part of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Again, this is not the entry video. This is just an unboxing of some of these knives. I am I'm going to do reviews on all of these because I need content and these are some really freaking cool knives. Um, so yeah, thank you again to Old Tonto Guy. This is just so generous. This is absolutely incredible and I really appreciate it. And if you guys see him down in the comment section, which you will, tell him thank you. Say hi and say thank you for the opportunity for this giveaway. So, thank you. Okay, so my buddy's gonna be here in a little bit to do hydrology stuff. I've gotta get my lunch eaten. And actually, I just gotta do something fun. We'll share with you guys. So I passed a Burger King on my way back from the museum, and I saw they have a ghost pepper Whopper. I like hot, spicy food as much as any New Mexican, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And you know what, I'll share it with you guys, because I've got nothing better to do right now. So, holy crap, that is orange. That is an orange burger. Um, it doesn't smell that spicy. Got bacon, jalapenos, ghost pepper cheese, I guess. Let's see if it's hot. No, oh, see we've got like little, what is that? Like hard little green potato chip? Oh, it's okra. It's fried okra with like jalapeno. Okay. There's definitely a little bit of a spicy kick. Like I noticed it when I first took a bite and then it like, like it hit and then it like went away and I like hit again right when I swallowed. I mean, it's good. It tastes like a, I mean, it tastes like a burger. It's not the spiciest thing ever. It's got a little heat. I'd give it like a... I don't know. Like a 4 out of 10 on spiciness. Otherwise, it's just a pretty mediocre burger. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I know it was fast. I didn't have a whole lot of time. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because that's how you're going to win all this cool stuff. And thank you again to Reggie. He is awesome. He has helped the channel so much. And now he is directly uh, giving back to you guys. Four knives out of his collection that he just gave me to give away, that is incredibly generous. Incredibly generous. And they're also, they're really cool knives. I mean, that Tucson, it's a hundred dollar knife. The QSP, that's what, $60, $70 knife. The Condor, like a $50 knife. He, these are some really cool prizes. I am going to review them all because I want to. I, I, I have to review stuff, guys. I love it. And uh, I'm not sure when this video will come out, but when we hit a thousand subscribers, we'll give them away. Until then, I've been Gideon. Adios.